So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this new mechanical pencil. It's the Pilot S30. It's a pretty highly awaited mechanical pencil uh, for a number of reasons, but mainly because it's part of the S series, which is Pilot's uh, I don't know if it's their most popular, but I would say it's their best line of mechanical pencils. There's the S10, the S20, and a few others that are very popular with mechanical pencil enthusiasts for very good reasons. Uh, they offer a lot of value, great performance, and then I think they're really great looking pencils. So S30 was just released this year in 2021, and uh, it comes as a basically a combination of the S20 and the Automac, which we'll get to in a second. So what's the deal with the S30? We have the wood body from the Pilot S20, and that includes this little wood up here and really nice metal hardware. So it's inspired by the S20, but it has the automatic system of the Automac. So now we have an automatic lead advancing system, which we will demonstrate in a little bit. But basically it's an automatic pencil with the wooden body. So this is the S20. It's not automatic. It does not have a retractable pipe. It's a drafting style mechanical pencil. Obviously it has the wood body. Really, really good looking and one of my favorite uh, mechanical pencils and one of my favorite bodies. This is sold in also as the S20 ballpoint, which I, I tend to use pens more, so I really use that one a lot. But uh, I like the S20 pen so much that I couldn't not buy the mechanical pencil. So this one, again, beautifully made, wonderful hardware, mainly notable for the, uh, the wood, and it does not have a retractable tip. So again, that makes it a drafting style mechanical pencil. This is the Automac. This is a high-end pencil. So if the S20 costs about $20, the Automac costs somewhere between $40 and $50, depending on uh, you know price fluctuations and where you're buying it. So the Automac is an auto, mecha uh, auto mechanical. It's an automatic mechanical pencil with a uh, double knock system. So basically, it looks like a pen now, but you push it, that knocks it, and now you push it to knock it again, or to you know extend the lead, which is a knock action. This pipe is retractable by pushing it with a long push, a little short push. We'll just advance the lead, long push, push it back. And you can see this could keep the lead out if you're not being careful, but you don't really have to extend the lead a lot because it's an automatic pencil. So that means it will basically extend itself as you write. Uh, the Automac is expensive and really nice, but unfortunately, my understanding is that it's being discontinued with the S30 taking its place. I haven't confirmed that. It's not like, you know, Pilot is in regular communication with me, but my understanding from what I've read is that the Automac is being discontinued. You can still find them. They're uh, not that hard to find, but they are expensive. Okay, so now the S30. What do we see? We see really nice wood. This is in a black color. I couldn't find it in the this, uh, this brown wood, and there's also a red wood. They're a little bit hard to find, but they're still being uh, imported from Japan. But uh, I got it in the Blackwood, it's fine. This thing sells for about, I think about $35 in Japan. In the US, after shipping, it would be more like 45, but that price will drop as it becomes more regularly available. So there's the wood, really nice. You see that really nice wood grain, very similar to the S20. It says automatic system. Again, that's similar to the Automac, which has something Similar, this one's in a kind of that little uh, different font. Let's see about that. The wood is the top and bottom. We have a metal front piece that's really similar to that found on the S20, but here we have it in uh, chrome on the S30 and then matte on the S20. Clearly the front system is different. The S20 has the fixed pipe. You could replace this piece, but you can't put the pipe back in. With the S30, you can see this is, it's in what I would call to be writing mode. That's with this conical piece extended. If you push your pencil down, push it down onto a hard surface, you could see now you could retract the tip 
and this is essentially blunt. It's not quite as blunt as the Automac, but it's definitely something you would put in a pocket or, uh, you know, in a bag without having to scratch up your laptop or jab yourself in the thigh, something like that. When you want to write, you don't do a, a, a long press like the Automac. You just do a short press that pushes this piece out. You see it kind of pops out. Now you could advance the lead, or you could just write, obviously, and the lead will advance by itself, which is an automatic pencil. If you push this in, it won't go in by itself. You have to actually push it down on a surface and get it to go in. While we're here, we could see how the automatic system works. It's a little bit hard to get the zoom going, but if you bear with me, it should work. Basically what happens is, as you write, the lead goes back and back and back, and this piece will start going back. When it goes forward, it will advance the lead. So think about the lead being basically at the same level. Here is how you'll write it with the lead barely visible. It will still work. And as you push down, it'll push back in. The lead will not push back in, but this piece will go back in as the lead disappears. And then as it pushes forward, it'll pull the lead with it. It's obviously, uh, you know, we're exaggeration, exagger, <laughs> exaggerating the motion, but you get the point now. Wood barrel, same clip. Again, we've moved over to chrome from matte but essentially the same clip. The top piece now, still wood, that's all the same, more chrome. Pull this off, we have the standard eraser, just like before, and it's an extendable eraser, just like before. Does not have a uh, cleaning rod, which is disappointing, but more and more pencils are just forgetting, foregoing the cleaning rod altogether. Here you did have it on the S20, so that's a minor disappointment, but you could buy this little metal piece with a cleaning rod uh, if you need it. I'm not sure how well the cleaning rod would work with the automatic mechanism. Uh, if anything, uh, it should work, but it's probably less important because here you have this really narrow pipe and it, it is pretty long, whereas here it's a smaller mechanism and I think it's less likely to jam. So did Pilot save you know half a penny or something by not giving you a cleaning rod? Sure, but you may just not need the cleaning rod with the automatic mechanism, which is why they left it out. You could remove the clip if you want. You just have to be careful not to scratch up the wood. And then if you open up the pencil, let me see, maybe this one doesn't open. It's really easy to open the S20. Uh, it opens at the front. Let me see if we can get this S30 to open. I'll leave it here at the seam. I don't think it opens there. And Ah, man, that's on there really well. I'm just going to leave it for now. The uh, I believe the hardware is really similar to the S-Class, which means you all have nice brass fittings in there. And uh, I'll check that out later, and I'll do a follow-up video if it makes sense to open it up, but it's probably not too exciting, and I don't want to mess up any of that mechanism there. Do a quick writing demonstration. So you don't want to start off with the lead out. You want to keep it in as much as possible. So we can start off here. It's in, uh, I guess, travel mode, or whatever you want to call it. You pop it out. And now you see the lead is barely visible. And we can start writing. This is the Pilot S30 mechanical pencil. I bought it in 0.5 millimeter. I think it's also sold in 0.7 I don't believe it's being sold in the 0.3 millimeter yet. Usually that comes later. Uh, if it is available, I haven't seen it yet. And you can see I'm writing without lifting. When you lift, that's when the chance for this little metal piece to spring back with the lead. If you keep writing, eventually you're just going to wear out of lead. It needs to spring. And you could probably hear it a little bit. It'll never really go out past this point uh, unless you push the button. So it stays really short. So it's basically, you can't break the lead once it stays so short. The downside of this is that 
you don't have any sort of lead spinning system like the uh, the Kuratoga or the Delgard. Delgard doesn't spin it, but it has the spring mechanism. So it's like the Dur the Delgard, but not spinning like the Kuratoga. So the lead will get angled, and it'll appear to be a little sharper than it possibly was before, uh, but it won't break. So it's a trade-off. Not everyone likes the Kuratoga spinning, but, uh, you know, it's a different mechanism, I guess. And if you like automatic pencils, you like this one, which is really well-behaved. The internals, I'm, from what I understand, are the same as the automatic, which is a really good sign. This pencil's been around for a long time has a really long history going back to the Pilot, the H line, the, you know, the Pilot H5005 and stuff like that, and the really old school, really great automatic pencils from like the 80s. So the S30 is a really well-behaved, really good-looking automatic pencil. I've really been enjoying using it. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's a nice follow-up to the uh, other pens and pencils in the S line. I'm a big fan of the S20, and I'm happy to move away from the fixed pipe. I don't need the drafting style mechanical pencil, but I know a lot of people do. So if that's the case, you just stick with the S20, or you can get an S10 or S5, something like that. If you want to move to automatic, now you have the S30. Uh, so for me, that's that's a great fit. I prefer writing with the automatic. It's kind of more of a pen-like writing system, which is better for me. Uh, if you're choosing between... The Automac and the S30. Uh, I like the S30 better. I like the wood body and the contours of the wood. The Automac is on the heavy side. You do have that cool click mechanism. It's very a pen-like feel. But uh, for me, it's a little bit expensive and it's kind of uh, it's kind of overkill, I would say. So I really have been enjoying the S30. And uh, I, again, it's it's a lot lighter than the Automac. So I don't think you need to hunt down an Automac except as a kind of a relic at this point. If you just love uh, the knurling and the build quality, but I'm really happy with the S30. Uh, so I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions or you really do want to see me open it up, please let me know and I'll do a follow-up video. Thanks for watching.